Welcome to Learning Mo. Today we are talking about division and thinking about the different stages in your child's division journey. Now we're thinking about in this lesson around probably P3, um, maybe year two level, where children are starting to begin to learn those multiplication tables. Your child will have already learned to count in steps of two, five and ten, and they'll be able to confidently probably count up to 20 in steps of two or even further. And the same with the fives and the tens, they'll probably be able to get up to a hundred with the tens, possibly even with the fives. So you, they will then, the natural progression is to learn the times tables. And this is a perfect opportunity to really think about division as well. They're already learning those tables, so at the same time, it's very natural to show them how division relates to multiplication and to think about using that inverse operation. Now, you may not want to introduce the concept as the inverse operation to your child at this stage, but you want to keep it very, very practical. And I believe that actually introducing division at the same time as multiplication is actually really key because children then see the relationship between those calculations, the relationship between the operations and the relationships between between the numbers and they really then have a very very good firm basic understanding which is great so I'm just going to show you a really practical way of demonstrating showing that inverse and starting to think about those division facts that go hand in hand with the multiplication and of course this will be very very important as we move up to the more formal methods of division so when they're learning their times tables they will be thinking about um, the twos, the fives, the tens. So I'm going to keep it very simple. So on here you'll see that two times four equals eight. So we're going to work with the number eight. And here I've got eight little sweets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about sharing first and then actually practically showing that relationship. So two times four equals eight. I've got eight sweets here. But now the sweets all belonged to this little guy here. He had eight he two times four. He now wants to share those sweets between himself and all his friends. So this is where you're talking about sharing again. And this is absolutely fine to actually share these out physically. So you may ask your child, first of all, how many do you think they will get first? They will get each. They may already be able to use their times tables to think about that. If they can't, don't worry. This is a very practical activity. So I've got my four little characters and I'm going to share my sweets out with them. If your child wants to count in twos and share them out, that's brilliant. And I'd be starting to encourage that as this journey goes on. So we're going to share them out. Everybody's got two each. Everybody's got an equal share and all the sweets are now shared. So we can now say that if I share eight between one, two, three, four little characters, they will get two each. You may then want to move on to a more formal method of recording this and actually show this onto your inverse. So you've got your two times four, which is eight. Now I want to show this relationship. So I want to say eight divided by two, okay? So if I'm dividing eight by two, the answer is four. I've got my numbers here and I'm showing this. If I give everybody two, how many people are getting two each? And the answer is one, two, three, four. I'm now doing eight divided by four. If I share eight between my four little characters, how many do they have each? And you can clearly see that they have got two. So you're starting to see that relationship of those numbers. So I will do another one just to explore that out again. So this time let's do, let's take him away and let's do six. So, I'm going to start right from the beginning, so you might actually want to create this little story and this little problem with your child to, under to help them understand this. So I might say that here is my piles. I might say that little George here has got three piles of two sweets. He wants to join them all together. What could he do? And this is where you'll be talking about your arrays and you'll be talking about your multiplication. So we're doing three times two, which is six. So he's joined them all together. Now he's got his sweets, he wants to share them between his two friends and we want to know how many to get each. Now hopefully your child will start be relating that idea that they just saw that they had the three sets of two together, that little array, and they will start to share those out. And again, I, as your child becomes more confident with this, I would actually get them to start counting in their twos or their fives and they share them out. 
and then you can start to relate that calculation again. So we started off with two times three equals six. So six divided by three, or shared by three, how many? Oh, you've got your two. And equally the other way around, six divided by two, how many do we have? Three. I'm really starting to introduce that idea of the inverse operation to help with division. Mm -hmm.